Mr. Kennedy's and others here are claiming that they've been censored, but they actually have a huge megaphone. The rules that my colleague tried to bring up were rules that the Republicans made at the beginning of this Congress. They did not allow the Democrats to be part of that. And one of those rules was that if information or testimony might potentially defame an individual, that we would go in executive session. No one was trying to stop him from testifying, but not to give him the megaphone that this group has allowed him to have. I also note, in terms of censorship, that the far right media has already issued articles about me playing the race card. The race card is something that's often used against black people for bringing up when they see race hatred being propagated against them. And it's a means to try and keep us quiet and keep us in our place. Oh, you're playing the race card by bringing up what is obvious in our lives, what is obviously happening, race. And so you can keep saying I'm race baiting and try and censor me, but I'm gonna to continue to tell the truth. I wanna be abundantly clear about what else is happening in this room. The MAGA Republicans are trying to scare social media companies into not taking down blatantly false information in the lead up to our 2024 presidential election. Chair Jordan knows, as we do, that when conspiracy theories succeed, so does Donald Trump. Russia interfered in our 2016 election, they attempted in our 2020, and they're going to try to interfere in the 2024 presidential election. We note that Russian trolls sought to suppress the black vote by unleashing a torrent of social media posts designed to stoke racial tensions and spread incorrect voting information. In 2021, our national intelligence agencies found that proactive information sharing between the government and social media companies facilitated the expeditious review and in many cases, removal of social media accounts covertly operated by Russia and Iran. Ms. Wiley, if the government is not able to proactively share information with social media companies in 2024, what is the likely what is likely to have, uh, be the ramifications? And I'd ask that you make your answer as succinct as possible because there's a lot of information I need. I will just quote one thing. Mr. Prigozhin, who's been in the news of late, actually said explicitly and openly that they would continue to try to spread mis and disinformation into the United States and interfere with our elections. Thank you. Uh, they know that that Russian interference that is, the MAGA Republicans know that Trump benefits when Russia interferes. The super PAC that supports, uh, the same super PAC that supports Mr. Kennedy and has raised significant funds on his behalf is run by a man named Jason Bowles. Here's Jason Bowles' Twitter profile, uh, as you can see up on the screen. Jason Bowles isn't just a MAGA supporter. He also ran the super PAC for MAGA Republicans Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, George Santos, and in 2022, he supported Herschel Walker. So the person behind Mr. Kennedy's super PAC is an individual who personally and professionally wants the Republican Party to succeed. Yet, Mr. Kennedy is running as a Democrat. Ms. Wiley, will it benefit Mr. Kennedy as well as the other individuals that are supported by the super PAC if social media companies are less able to detect and if needed, if they determine that it's needed to remove Russian covert information designed to suppress votes in this country? It is possible. Thank you. I yield back. Can I uh, uh, yield the remainder of the time? lady yields back. Um, I now recognize Mr. Stubbe from uh, Florida for his five minutes. Mr. Kennedy, do you want to respond to that? Can you do that quickly? Yeah, I, I've never heard of Mr. Bowles, and I've never heard of that super PAC. Uh, that, this is typical of the accusations against me at this hearing. They are baseless. Every single one I've been subjected to a string, a parade of defamations. If I believe those things about myself, I wouldn't want to hear me either and want to gag me and lock me in a room somewhere. But none of those are true. And they were all, all of this parade of accusations and defamations were made against me in a way that was calculated to make sure that I could not respond to any of them. Every one of them I'd like to respond to, but I was not allowed to. I have a unanimous consent request. 
The young lady from California is recognized for unanimous consent. My majority counterparts have repeatedly cited a district court opinion from Louisiana, and I would like to introduce for the record the Fifth Circuit order staying that opinion almost as soon as it was issued. Objection. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from New York. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Um, the distinguished gentle lady from New York mentioned a, a poll. Um, I would just ask that she identify what poll that is and if we could enter it into the record. I'm sure she'll be happy to We will to do submit that. it for the record. Can you identify what it is? Sure, I will submit it for the record and you'll be able to review it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. Uh, the chair now recognizes the uh, gentle lady from uh, Florida, Ms. Washington Schultz. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, we respectfully requested that you rescind Mr. Kennedy's invitation to be, appear here due to his repeated and very recent statements that spread dangerous anti-Semitic and anti-Asian conspiracy theories and attempted to move into executive session because House rules prohibit public testimony that degrades or defames people. His reckless rhetoric helped fuel anti-Semitic incidents, which for the record are at the highest level in the United States since 1970. They have nearly tripled in the last six years. Since you gave Mr. Kennedy a megaphone today, I want to give him a chance to correct his statements and prepare some of the harm that he's helped cause. Mr. Kennedy, you're well educated. So yes or no, please. Are you aware that for centuries, Jews have been scapegoated and blamed for causing illnesses like Black Plague and more recently COVID? I am. Those are known as blood libel, and they are one of the worst and most disturbing parts of uh, human history. Good. I'm glad to know that, of course, that you, that you acknowledge that. Of course, it's true and well documented that this pernicious form of anti Semitism led to centuries of discrimination, even horrific pogroms and massacres, and it still fuels deadly violence today. Yet last week, you floated a baseless conspiracy theory that the coronavirus was bioengineered to target Caucasians and black people, but to spare Ashkenazi Jews and Chinese people. Mr. Kennedy, your bizarre, unproven claim echoes that same historic slander of labeling Jews and Chinese people as a race, and that Jews, and in this case Chinese people, somehow managed to avoid a deadly illness that targets other groups for death. You do see that, yes or no? You're misstating. No, 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 no. Uh, you I, are... quoted, I quoted what you said earlier, and it, it is directly what you said. So just ask uh, me, no, yes or no? I was, I was describing an NIH-funded study. No, 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 you didn't cite any. I was, as, I was describing an NIH-funded study by Cleveland Clinic Reclaiming scientists. Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time. You did not you, reference. Reclaiming my time. Published in USC Mr. Medical, Chairman, which is one of... The time is mine. I'm reclaiming it. Please ask the witness to stop talking. You asked me a question. Reclaiming. I, let me, allow me to time. answer my question. Mr. Chairman, I'd like about 10 uh, seconds the back. Time, the you, time belongs. You are slandering me time incorrectly. To the, the time belongs time to You're saying time. is dishonest. Time belongs to the gentle lady from Florida. I need to defend myself. Mr. Chairman, time belongs to the gentle lady from Florida. I'd like 15 seconds back. We will Mr. be happy Chairman. to give you that. Thank you so much. You did not cite any study like you are citing here now during that conversation. You referenced no study at all. You simply labeled Jews and Chinese people as a race, and you also said that somehow they managed to avoid a deadly illness that targets other groups for death. You don't see that. You're trying to rewrite history here. A few months ago, Mr. Kennedy, you compared COVID public health policies to barbaric murderous tactics of Nazi Germany, saying that Jewish people in Nazi Germany had more freedom than Americans facing COVID health restrictions. In hindsight, Mr. Kennedy, do you reject this absurd and deeply hurtful and harmful com comparison, or do you still stand by it? Congressman, what you are saying is a lie. That you, you said it. It's, it's, I no, I did not. I never contained, okay. I never, ever Mr. Chairman, I'm happy to answer into the record when Mr. Kennedy said that. I reclaim my time. In discussing COVID public health measures, you made light of the genocide against Jewish people by saying, and I quote, even Hitler's Germany, you could cross the Alps to Switzerland, you could hide in an attic like Anne Frank did. Mr. Kennedy, do you think it was easy for Jewish people to escape systematic slaughter of Nazis, yes or no? Absolutely not. Okay, good. Mr. Kennedy, do you think it was just as hard to wear a mask during COVID as it was to hide under floorboards or false walls so you weren't murdered or dragged to a concentration camp? Yes or no? Excuse me? Uh, that's a question. Yes or no? I didn't hear your question. Okay. I said, do you think it was just as hard to wear a mask during COVID as it was to hide under floorboards or false walls so you weren't murdered or dragged to a concentration camp? Of course not. That's okay. ridiculous. But that's a comparison that you made. I did Mr. not Kennedy, make that were the comparison. Taken, were the measures taken to contain the spread and fatalities related to COVID in any way at all comparable to the murder of 6 million Jews, yes or no? Uh, absolutely not. Okay. 
let's be very clear here. There's no legitimate comparison to the Holocaust. It doesn't matter if you're talking about AI, AI vaccine mandates, or anything else. There is no comparison. And if this were a slip of the tongue, Mr. Kennedy, or a one-off comment, we would all move on. But there's a deeply disturbing pattern. In 2015, you apologized to all those, quote, whom I offended by my use of the word Holocaust to describe the autism epidemic. When discussing efforts to encourage others to get vaccinated for COVID-19, you said Nazis did that in the camps in World War II. They tested vaccines on gypsies and Jews. That was a quote. Like before, you apologized for invoking the Holocaust, saying, quote, to the extent my remarks caused hurt, I am truly and deeply sorry. These are not real statements of contrition or remorse. They are passive-aggressive non-apologies that blame the listener for reacting to the lie you just read. I'm deeply saddened that this is a conversation we're having today. I have deep respect for what Mr. Kennedy's family did and still does to make life better for all Americans. But what you are doing now, Mr. Kennedy, and the forces you aligned yourself are reckless, dangerous, and disturbing by echoing dangerous claims such as, quote, Jews don't really suffer as much as we do, which you said, your rhetoric creates a climate of mistrust, antagonism, and even hatred or violence against Jewish people. My own children have been the targets of brutal anti-Semitism on social media. You fan those flames and jeopardize their safety. You've marginalized other groups too, like Asian Americans and the LGBTQ the plus community. And worse, you don't seem to care or brush it all off to misquotes and misunderstanding. Frankly, it's disgusting. Thank you for your indulgence, Mr. Chairman. I yield back the balance. Mr. Delaney, Mr. Chairman, I have unanimous consent request. The gentleman from I'd like to raise, I'd like to raise a point of order. The gentleman lady, state a point of order. Point of order, pursuant to House Rule 11, Clause 2 which Mr. Kennedy is violative of, I move that we move into an executive session because Mr. Kennedy has repeatedly made despicable anti-Semitic and anti-Asian comments as recently as last week. Rule 11, Clause 2 says, whenever it is asserted by a member of the committee that the evidence or testimony at a hearing may tend to defame, degrade, or incriminate any person, or it is asserted by a witness that the evidence or testimony that the witness would give at a hearing may tend to defame, degrade, or incriminate the witness, and it goes on, Mr. Kennedy, uh, among many other things, has said, I know a lot now about bioweapons. We put out hundreds of millions of dollars in, into ethnically targeted microbes. The Chinese have done the same thing. In fact, COVID-19, there is an argument that it is ethnically targeted. COVID-19 attacks certain races disproportionately. The races that are most immune to COVID-19 are- The lady making a motion or a speech? I, and I've made a motion to move into executive session because Mr. Mr. Kennedy's testimony- Mr. Chairman, I move to table the motion. The gentleman from Kentucky has moved to table. The is on the motion to table. Mr. Mr. On Chairman, the I ask for a roll call vote on the, on the motion to table. Well, let me ask the question. The question is on the motion to table. The gentlelady has asked for a roll call vote. The clerk will, will have to step back for a second. The clerk will have to come in. We'll call the roll on the motion to table, and then we can get back to testimony. I think the witnesses can sit in the chairs sitting behind. Um, I'll leave that up to the clerks. If the clerks are comfortable with that, Yeah, why don't we do that? Maybe we can go right down here. Mr. 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 Chairman, point of order. Gentleman from Louisiana. Is it the custom of this committee to censor viewpoints that we disagree with from witnesses? Mr. Chairman, I have, a, not motion. A, point of I have order. a motion on the table. There's a motion and the vote's been moving called. Moving to the executive session. We're waiting, for, we're waiting for the clerks. Is violative of waiting Rule 11, clause two. Waiting for the clerks. Okay. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Jordan. Yes. Mr. Jordan votes yes. Mr. Issa. Mr. Massey? Yes, to not censor. Mr. Massey votes yes. Mr. Stewart? Yes. Mr. Stewart votes yes. Mr. S Ms. Stefanik? Yes. Ms. Stefanik votes yes. Mr. Gates? Mr. Johnson of Louisiana? Yes. Mr. Johnson of Louisiana votes yes. Mr. Armstrong? Yes. Mr. Armstrong votes yes. Mr. Subi? Mr. Bishop? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Bishop votes yes. Ms. Kamak? Yes. Ms. Kamak votes yes. Ms. Hageman? Yes. Ms. Hageman votes yes. Ms. Poscott. No, I want to follow the rules that the Republicans made at the beginning of this uh, conference with these House rules, so no. Ms. Poscott votes no. Mr. Lynch? No. Mr. Lynch votes no. Ms. Sanchez? No, because it's violative of the rules. Ms. Sanchez votes no. Ms. Wasserman Schultz? No to allowing a witness to degrade and this is not speech others time. and violate the rules and not have his testimony in degradation and amplified rather than given an executive session. Ms. Wasserman Schultz votes no. Mr. Connolly? No to the Soviet Ms. Politburo. Mr. Connolly votes no. Mr. Garamendi? No. Mr. Garamendi votes no. Mr. Allred? Ms. Garcia? No. Ms. Garcia votes no. Mr. Goldman? No to hate speech. Mr. Goldman votes no. Jeez. 
Mr. Gates. Yes. Mr. Gates. Aye. Mr. Gates votes aye. Clerk will report. Mr. Chairman, there are 10 ayes and eight noes. Uh, the, the motion to table is agreed to. We will now move to our second witness. Uh, Ms. Morris, you are recognized for five minutes. Recognized. Mi Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chair, before that, I have um, a document I'd like to enter into the record or Washington Post article of July 23rd, which lists the misstates, misstatements of facts in the preliminary injunction um, in the Missouri v. Biden case that we've been talking about. And from what paper? What publication? I said the Washington Post. Okay. Thank Without you. objection. Mm -hmm. Gentleman from New York is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Sauer, welcome back to the committee. It's great to see you again. You're becoming a mainstay on the committee, and, and I do hope that uh, you continue to update us on your case uh, now that it has been stayed and will not be implemented as it goes through the appeals process. Uh, I'd like to quickly play a, a short video, if we could. COVID-19 is targeted to attack uh, Caucasians and, uh, and, uh, and uh, black people. The people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and, uh, and Chinese. Mr. Kennedy, I have a simple question for you. As an early victim of COVID, I actually got it uh, March 10th, 2020. And, and my question to you is whether you think I should be worried about my genetics as an Ashkenazi Jew because I did contract COVID. No, not at all. And that statement that you saw there is a truncated version of a larger state. No, I understand. You, you issued a, a clarification. Where I was I describing, I, I was I understand. Hold on. I just, I had a I was simple question. You're now going on. I'm reclaiming my time. Uh, 